Dom's here. <laughs> Finally. Hey everyone, we are out at the farm this weekend, as usual. And we're here for two days, so Saturday and Sunday. We got our dome delivered, finally. So it got delivered to Ben's parents' house because they live nearby and they were able to just drive it over here. That way we didn't have to take it piece by piece. But honestly, I think we could have taken it piece by piece. It just isn't like, the box isn't as big as I thought. But anyway, okay, so I've actually been out here. We've been out here for a couple of hours now. Ben's dad just got here with the dome and we are unpacking it and what I was getting to is we already checked on a lot of the trees and stuff. Everything's looking fantastic. We actually got a new lawn mower. It's an electric push mower. Don't, we're not gonna be doing all of these pastures like that. We're gonna actually get our pastures baled for, till, till we get gardens and, and, well, we'll still have a section to get baled just so we have constant supplies of hay, you know? Um, <laughs> Parker, you're not supposed to be in the garden. So anyway, we brought out our new mower. It's an electric mower. It has, batteries like this I forget what brand not sponsored or anything it's Greenworks Pro we we had this on our wish list for a long time and I've been out here mowing as you can see I have some pads here and there my battery actually died just because this grass is so super long oh, I had to get around the, the gate there but this grass is really long so it wears the battery down because it's working it extra but I did a lot of this and then we did some area down by the dome just like as a test one thing though, I don't know if we lost the part for it. We did lose a part for it either like when we were packing it up or I don't know what. We have it like bungee corded, corded right now. I hope we'll be able to find it when we get home. But this is awesome. I really haven't worked with many a push mowers in my day, but I like this one. <laughs> um, like I said, obviously I'm not gonna be pushing and mowing this whole entire pasture, but it's really nice for right now that we don't have like paths established or like our garden isn't fully like put together yet so mowing that's really nice like just look how long i don't know if like, it's really coming off on camera how long if you just like look at the edge here it's just crazy it comes up to almost my knee anyway i have the mower here and i'm going to install this last battery we have we only have two batteries this is our first time using it. And I have to say, I really, really like it. It's called the Brushless Mower Greenworks Pro. It says 21 inch. I don't know much more about it. We got it off of Amazon. Love it. But anyway, I'll show you guys how it works. she is again not sponsored but I really do like this thing again I've only used it one time this one time this one trip but I love it <laughs> it's like it doesn't to start it it's just, just super easy so you hold in this button and then you lift up on this little lever and you just like hold this and when you let this lever go it stops it's brilliant this is where we were missing the piece we're missing one of these I'm gonna find it I I think I'm sure it's at home when we unpack the box and we just missed it but that's what we're looking like and obviously you have a grass bag you don't have to have a grass bag um there's a attachment that can go there we got it but we weren't using it grass bag's pretty cool holds a lot i'm using the clippings on the pathways of the garden 
and man the garden just looks so much better now that I could see it I kind of wish I could get back there but we have comfrey planted all along here on this inside edge so I don't know I don't think it's really worth getting there I could wheel the mower over there and get right under that section but I don't know if it's worth it I'm not gonna do the whole thing because this is our last battery and I just want to make sure we don't have anything else we want to cut um, we were debating on bringing the charger and we just decided not to because we didn't think we'd be cutting a lot of grass. I mean, honestly, I have a lot of stuff to do. Which brings me to the topic of what are we going to do this week at the farm? I know I always give a list, right? And we never fulfill the list. I don't want to say never, but we don't always complete everything on the list. So, let's take my hat off. It's not even sunny anymore. It was re really super sunny, but now it's not. But, anyway our list for this weekend so obviously we wanted to take a look at the dome we're unpacking that now you guys will watch that and we got to see if everything's there everything's accounted for they are currently working on finishing the platform there were only like three pieces or something like that that needed to be put in and uh, they needed to fix one board and then it's time to put the plywood on the top after that it's dome time which i'm really 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 hoping that we get to dome time i've just been looking forward to this day for so long <laughs> it'll be super nice even if we just get started um, tomorrow is our main planting day so i'm going to be planting my dahlia tubers out in this field and i'll be doing a video for that for wild pines farm which i don't think i announced on this channel <laughs> today's just a big video but we started a new channel it's called wild pines farm Obviously, it's Wild Pines Farm, and then we have Wild Pines Sanctuary that's run on this land. You guys are probably like, what's, what's going to be on this channel? This channel, Wild Pines Farm, is going to be gardening. Um, I will link it in the description box down below, and I know you guys are like, what happened to Carolina? That is still a thing, but initially, Ben had started Carolina Wild Harvest right before he met me, and he was going to focus mainly on mycology, um, plant identification, stuff like that. And we talked a lot about it and we decided that he should really take that channel and use it and focus it on what he wants to do and we kind of figured it's you know he named it and branded it because like after that and then i came along and we just added gardening <laughs> he loves gardening though he just like we it just happened naturally um but I do really like the idea of having something just like a gardening channel, which is going to be me and Ben. We're going to both be on here. I'll probably not be on Carolina as much if I even make appearances at all. I'll make appearances in probably hiking videos, but that might be it. I don't know. We'll see. But it's really exciting. We just launched Wild Pines Farm's YouTube channel yesterday. But for you guys, I'm a little behind on editing vlogs, so you'll probably see this a month from now. <laughs> we launched it at... Sorry, I'm like losing the camera. I launched it what is it mid-April it's like it's April 9th so it was launched on April 8th um, with just the channel trailer so I have a bunch of stuff coming up including spring gardening videos I'm gonna film the dahlia planting which is gonna be awesome and I have I just have a whole bunch of a whole bunch of channels a whole bunch of videos planned so planting days tomorrow because I mean our last frost date has passed but it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight and tomorrow, like to tomorrow morning. So we decided, at least for the dahlia tubers and things like that that are need warmth, <laughs> we're gonna wait until Sunday when it gets a little warmer. So right now we're focusing on dome stuff. That is our main goal. And fun, fun little fact next week. So this coming weekend, we're not filming because we'll be filming that whole week. <laughs> so we're not coming on Saturday and Sunday. We will be coming Monday through Friday. It's kind of crazy. I, we haven't spent a week out here yet. What's the longest? I think we've only spent maybe like three days. I don't even know if we spent that long out here, but it's going to be really exciting. We'll be able to get so much stuff done. I don't know how I'm going to vlog it because that's going to be a lot of content. So I might, might break it up. I might not. We'll see. But stay tuned, the next vlog you see will be that, unless we have some kind of camera problem or whatever. Um, hopefully we'll get to see the jolly is coming up. I don't know, it's just gonna be really exciting. I love being out here so much, more than, more than you'll ever know. Um, so, enough of me talking. We're gonna go unpack the dome. I've been looking forward to this for, we ordered the dome in January, like a week after we purchased the property. So it's, it's been a long time coming. I'm just I'm so excited. I'm so excited to plant plants. I'm so excited for everything. And oh, just like after this weekend, we're free to plant everywhere, even back home. So oh, one more thing before we go, you guys are probably wondering, are you doing Wild Pines Farm content just here or at the 
main house right now. We're doing both locations, um, and then obviously it'll solely be here. But for now, you know, since we're at the house more often than we are here, unfortunately, that's where we do a lot of our main gardening. So anyway, let's go unpack the dome. And then you guys will probably watch them put on the plywood probably, hopefully. I'm really hoping. Usually we have plans to do stuff and our plan is to get the plywood on and start the dome. But things, things tend to, I don't know. We were supposed to actually come out. Sorry, I'm babbling. But we were actually supposed to come out yesterday, but we had a flat tire and we couldn't. All the power was out in town, so no tire repair shop could help us. It was a little bit of a nightmare, but it's okay. It's meant to be. We we're meant to be here today. <laughs> Let's, um... Let's go and quit. You can quit hearing me talk. I just put on the end pieces here, so there's a full circle now. I think one more thing. I'm not sure what. Oh, I think it's this piece right here. Here. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you see it yet? Big reveal. There she like is. The outer liner was like softer stuff. And there's a door frame. There should be a door in there too. Like she glass. Like aluminum. Wow. There it is.